Ibrahim, the first at this time. And Kaiser Ibrahim is a bit of a black sheep in history. They don't like talking about him. But effectively, he commanded a scriptorium to write this whole thing. He wanted to go back. He, did, he wasn't happy with Islam. He, what he didn't like about Islam, he didn't like the fact that Islam still, in spite of all the corruption uh, against the original message of Muhammad, which was Sufism, yep. kept, uh, kept putting restrictions on his lifestyle. He wanted to go back to Baal. He wanted to live in the blood of people. He wanted to sacrifice. He wanted devil worship yeah. back, on the, back on the table. So he wrote this and he, he commanded a guy out of um, uh, the empire in Palestine and they created this whole religion and uh, it became Sabbatianism. Well, his son basically took over the empire and they kicked the, the father out and forced the father to convert back to Islam in 1666. But what he left was a legacy of a messianic, devil-worshipping, God-creating religion uh, which was called the uh, the flame, the Knights of the Flame, and in Hebrew, the word knight is Nazi. Yeah, uh, it's written either N A S C I today, but originally pronounced Nazi. That's the origin of Nazi is knight. Yeah. All right, I didn't know that. And, no, it's interesting. And flame. So, yeah. Means uh, Ashke. The flame. Ashke. We, we see the flame with the Statue of Liberty. A lot of. These guys called themselves the Illuminati. The Sabbateans called themselves the Illuminati. Right. Uh, but in Hebrew, that is Ashkenazi. Back in 1776, where they said it was started from a Jesuit priest? No, no, no. The, Illumi the Illuminati was founded in the 17th century. But the, even though they shut it down in the Ottoman Empire, the, the Khazar uh, remnants had no really religious heritage they can call on. So this, this concept actually... Uh, spread like wildfire, and it spread with the Khazar diaspora uh, in a, c a country called Samara, Samaria, mm -hmm. which we now know as Russia. It was actually called Russia wasn't called Russia; it was called Samaria because of the history of the Khazars up until the 19th century, early 19th century. They changed all the history books. So the the Ashkenazi uh, madness actually went berserk in that part of the world. And it went berserk in other parts of Europe and around the world. But this, this, uh, this concept was that um, they were, that the elite were the gods, that they were recreating their own history. And of course, the 1260 number comes from Daniel, back in the old uh, scripture, that there was 1260 days or yep. years yep. of tri tribulation, and then this would be the end of the world. So they took this concept very seriously, and in World War II, they architected the end of the world. They artificially architected the end of the world so they could be gods, and that's what they did. And that was the big sacrifice, World War II, which yep, was the yep. the world to end all world war. No, that was the first one, was it? The second? Well, yeah, they, they failed. So they ended their worship of uh, Satan, mm. Lucifer, Moloch. They ended their worship of any spirit, in World War Two, and from World War Two, we've been dealing with families that worship themselves as gods. So they've gone past their use, but well, they've sort of like they've they're just continuing. They just completely lost the plot. Well, they're mad. They're, they're brought up as as uh, you are gods. Yeah. They are they are drug addicted. They they they're, they're mad. They're clinically insane. I mean, they 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 have no true knowledge of their own history, and they hate, they hate God, they hate, because they didn't worship, they've stopped worshipping Satan, that's all a, a, a lie. Anyone says that they truly worship, there are groups of them, like the uh, Bohemian Grove, but mm. the real elite stopped worshipping Lucifer, Satan, Moloch 70 years ago. 70. It's all a show now. They just hate the world, they hate it, and want to see it destroyed. Good morning, Frank. How, how, how are you going, mate? Um... Good, Dave. You touched on spiritual consciousness, and yep. as as a guardian, as a, as we call them, kaitiaki, and that um, and indigenous from New Zealand. Those, yep. I hear you loud and clear on on the uh, spiritual conscious change that's happening in the world. Yep. Now a lot of us indigenous, we're actually coming together now under Good. one thought, and they they can't do anything about it not not a not a thing that they can do about it 
Yep. But there's a lot of um, issues in that there. You were talking about um, about how they have uh, worshipping themselves and how, how demented they are and all that sort of thing. You're so true because I've always asked the question, why is it that they have stepped in between our creator and they've put themselves into a position where they are making a profit from our creator's work? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, so now what we are doing as indigenous people all around the world, we are waking up that spirituality of our Mother Earth, of God, of uh, all of the different gods and that, that are around surrounding us, and we're waking them up. But in the same process, we're waking up the people in it who are going to wake up other people. Well, yeah, this year is called under the – there's a the thing called uh, Covenant of One Heaven, yep. uh, mm -hmm. Pactum de Singularis Calum, and that's on one-heaven.org. And today celebrates a year that is called the Year of Divine Judgment. Mm. It's not a year that says that there is some divine creator coming down and, and wiping the slate clean. Mm. It's, it's actually working on something else. It's very, very simple. Um, the spirit – Spirit is is always competent. Soul is always competent. But flesh can suffer from mental illness. Yeah. Okay, just like physical illness. Mental illness is, a, is, an, is an illness. Mm. So we're dealing with an illness that has caused these people now yeah. to be clini clinically bonkers. So what's what's going to happen this year is, is, is very, very simple. You know if you don't sleep, you die. Yeah? Yeah. That's the best way of torture and war, I heard. Right. So it makes you insane. What, What's happening is that that there is a thing under the covenant called binding, and and it's a private agreement. That what what happened was three years ago, three and a half years ago, a series of documents were sent to world leaders, and they said, "Look, you are a leader. It's time for you to to really show that you're a leader, and just do your job. Just do your job. Not you don't have to do anything extra. Just do what you are elected or claim to be." Now, a year later, for those that didn't respond, a letter was sent again. You haven't responded. You're in dishonor. You've got to understand that, that you are thumbing your nose, not just at the whole world, but you're thumbing your nose at the whole spiritual realm. The concept of dividing heaven to stay in power is over. There is no hell anymore. Yeah. There is no hell. Yeah. Hell is a, is a psychological tool. That's over. Yeah. There's only one spirit, only one spirit, and it's united, and they ignored it. So now what has happened is, like someone doing a notorial procedure in a court, we've come to the point that we've gone through the notice, they've been given the warning, they've been shown the default, now it's judgment. So from this point on, they're on their own. And it, it may happen when they fall asleep that they don't wake up. Mm -hmm. They may choke on their food. They may slip in the bath. They may crash their car. They may drown in their pool. Uh, they may have a heart attack. Whatever it is, it's, it's their calling but the world will be cleansed of the mentally ill thank god beautiful yeah hallelujah hallelujah um well the pope's not looking good at the moment anyway i was saying that but uh the 21st of the 12th 2000 so this is the time this is the time that um so there is there is remedy out of all this frank of this crazy mentally i mean we've got like you said we've got sociopathic leaders uh, obama yep. is a sociopath um Absolutely. I mean, he just continually lies. Our, our government here just um, just keeps going on. We're fracking. We're just destroying all the water aquifers. We're just going nuts. Yep. Yep. So this is a time now coming yep. towards us yep. that, that we're going to find some remedy. And most people, and I believe, and you believe as well, and all of us, is that we are good people. Well, look, I think what we should do is, is not pray for their demise. Mm -hmm. yep. Because this is, look, I have nothing to do with this. This, yep. this is a... As, as Dave just said, this is something that's happening between our ancestors and the spirits yeah. Yeah. and the mentally ill. Yeah. Yeah. But what we should do is pray, pray for mercy and pray that these people wake up. Pray because for forgiveness. I, pray for forgiveness because I don't know when these mentally ill will, will have their souls torn from their flesh. I don't know when that will happen. Yeah. It could happen today. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen in six months' time. But at some point... It's going to happen if they don't change, because that is that is what it's come down to. That's what judgment's all about. 
Mm. All, all of what you've been saying, we've known that for, for a long time, but for it to come from uh, a person uh, like yourself, that, that's good for us because that's just confirmation. Confirmation is being reacted all around the world right now. Yep, And the confirmation of the spirituality of Mother Earth, the confirmation of spirituality within the human race, and the confirmation of, of God, um, whatever name we call him. And everybody is waking up with that confirmation. Now, um, we were talking about how Mother Earth is hurt. If mm-hmm. Mother Earth... Uh, what we've got to concentrate on, though, is fixing her up. Because if well, we that's fix exactly her right, up, if we fix her up, she's going to fix us up. Yeah. Well, well, I think this is another issue for this year. Look, if you took a look around, people say we've got to occupy Wall Street. We've got to do. We've got to do. Absolutely, resistance oh, yeah. is ab- resistance is is critical because without resistance, these people just do even more damage. But there's something even more important than resistance, and that is we have to plan what the future needs to be. And planning is more than just simply saying, uh, let's write a, a covenant, let's write a constitution, let's all agree and wave our fingers. Mm. It's, it's actually hard work. The law mm. that runs a society the size of Australia is complex. Australia is a very complex place now. You can't run it on 10 rules or 20 rules. It won't work. Yeah. yeah. So you've got hundreds and hundreds of years of corruption and corrupt law and and and, and it, it needs people to come together and say, I'm going to look at this area, for example, of health and I see the madness and I'm going to come together and we're going to design the code and the law of health so that health no longer is there to kill people but to actually make people well. Frank, thank you very much. That was uh, that was awesome. Thank you for coming on Radio Skid Row Workers Radio. Now, Frank also, um, as much as he knows a lot about the history, also does law. Now, you're doing a you do a talk show once a week, there, Frank. Yes, I do. Yep, um, it's on every uh, Thursday or Wednesday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, yeah. Australia time, Wednesday. 